Hey, hate to bother you, amigo, but thought you might be interested in a Bavarian bomb about to leave the island. Now that's a big no-no in everybody's book. Come see me when you find some time in that busy, busy schedule of yours. I'll make sure you didn't die in vain. shipment of weapons to pass through my security net. The small rebellion now possesses the means to attack. I worry they might succeed in killing President Dante before I can connect Rosa Manuela to the rebels. Zelda. Well, that's you to stop by, son. So you're finally ready to join the fight for Medici. Look, before we get down to business, there's something I need to say. I am a rotten, backstabbing old bastard. That's true. I double-crossed a lot of despots who thought I was their best goddamn friend. But in the end, Rico, there's only three people I trust. Myself, obviously, Uncle Sam, and you. Look, Buckaroo, I may not always be on the up and up, but I would never betray you. I know, it was Zeno. I knew it. I knew from the get-go that lily-livered little yellow belly was up to no good. You know, Shed, one day I'm going to ask you a 
exactly how it was you and I met on the boat that night my parents died. And I bet I'm not going to like it. Uh, Dima! What are you doing here? Uh, Rosa said I was needed. Rosa? Told me where to go. How did she... Sheldon? Yes, Rico? Closing up to the new leader of Medici already. Oh, come on, partner. You know you can't teach an old dog new tricks. What? Rosa Manuela is a champion of freedom. And freedom is my middle name. Now, what say we stop that bomb and save the world? Come on, buddy. Shake a leg. My intel says they're loading it onto a plane bound for, shall we say, less rebellious shores. I say we hitch ourselves a ride. These roads don't even show up on agency maps. They'll never suspect us. I've got a bad feeling about this. You know, you need a more positive outlook on life. You've got an infinite parachute, for Pete's sake. And a loudmouth Texan. Shit! The roadblock! Never stopped me before. That's a lot, Rico! Drop on up in there! The bomb's on a truck inside! We'll take care of business once the bird is airborne!
Empty ball. Oh boy! Nice work! Catch you later, Rico! And thanks for flying Air Sheldon! <laughs> The plan was perfect. You are the most elite, private, military force in the entire world. How can you fail to kill a weak-minded child with a rope and a squirrel suit? Now, I gift wrapped Rodriguez for you. And now he thinks I am playing medicine like some pathetic cur. And no, no, that blue flame of Bavarium will scorch the earth, and I won't lose Medici or his precious minds because of your stupidity! <clears throat> Look what you made me do! Clean that up. Rebels, they attack at will, then scurry safely through the war. Attack them! Make sure the Rebels know you are coming! You, send your best troops, get that fool Sino out of their prisons! I want to know everything he knows, I want to make sure that Rodriguez doesn't learn one thing from that stupid coward! And if you see that false prophet, Rosa Manuela, burn a bullet through her. Do not fail me again. Got your help? Time to think about the future again, eh? Rico, me and the rebels were moving some stolen supplies from the north. Meet us on the wall. We got some news that the Ravello might be on to us. We might need your help, amigo. Day 1637. A sniveling sycophant working in research begs for attention. He calls himself Zeno, and most of his colleagues despise him openly. A man utterly unloved creates delusions to overcome loneliness. One kind word from me, and I own him. His cowardice could prove very useful. The streets as screams echoed around the old town square. The people cry out for security and happily throw their precious freedoms away if only they could feel safe again. I imposed a curfew and posted military throughout the town. Manuela campaigns on a platform to restore order. The president's poll numbers drown in the chaos. Hey, what are you doing up there? 
of the president, I altered elite units into the rebel stronghold, killing many of the disillusioned followers there. With the help of the agency, I ensure that both Deluca and Dusku escape, but perhaps not completely unharmed. The people rejoiced at the bloodshed. Self-preservation makes monsters of us all. Again, Mr. Snowman.